The Police Beat with Sheila Manise, weeknights on CBC at 6. <laughs> they are greedy dogs which can never get enough. Isaiah 56, verse 11. Get a haircut. Claudia, 3.30, October the 24th. Here. Yeah. Much appreciated. God bless you. <laughs> you too, preacher. Yeah, you are, preacher. Thank you. <laughs> Most appreciated. And uh, how much do I owe you for this? Well, that'll be 20 cents. Quite equitable. Keep the change. What goes around comes around. Oh, uh, you'll be on your guard. There's been an unsettling number of robberies recently in the neighborhood. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you good people. Oh, that's sweet. You're concerned about us. No, I just don't want to have to eat at Manny Resnick's corned beef's not nearly as lean. Congratulations, Nate. You've got the bum seal of approval. Regular customer, Mr. Singer? Oh, listen, it's little enough to do. You know, my father used to say, if every person who had food would feed one person who didn't have food, no one would go hungry. So he picked out a guy who used to wander in here. And in those days, he'd charge him a penny for a sandwich so as not to take away the man's pride. And this went on for years until the man died. And you know, a remarkable thing happened. He left a will, and he remembered this in his will. No kidding. Hmm? What'd he leave you? He left us his son, this guy. <laughs> You know, I am concerned about the string of robberies in this neighborhood. <laughs> Half a dozen in the last month. Mr. Singer, I think it's time we talk about upgrading the security system around here. Mitchell, we happen to have a perfectly adequate alarm system already in place. What, this old box with the clanger on top? What's this say? Acme Burglar Alarm Company. Acme? Who'd you buy this from? Wiley e. Coyote? <laughs> So where did you take your son on his lunch break? It's not where I took him. It's where Reggie took me. Oh, Ma, don't go make a big thing out of it. Window shopping. Huh? For Mama's birthday, Mitch. Coming up, Mitch, next Tuesday, Mitch. I'm ready, are you? You know, this is the first time Reggie has remembered my birthday, and I don't know how long. It's easy enough to figure out. You take his current age, and that's it. <laughs> with money can buy an expensive gift without giving it thought. But when you as broke as I was, it was the thought that went into the gift that mattered. Oh, yeah? Well, what'd you get her last year? Not something she's gonna put away and never use, I tell you that. I got her a practical gift that every time she uses it, she's gonna feel better and think of me. What'd you get your mama? Bottle of aspirin. <laughs> All these years, I had to watch you bringing mama those big pink department store boxes when I had to do all my shopping at everything here is 69 cents. <laughs> well, this year, we had the same job and the same pay. After all my years of playing the fool, now it's your turn. <laughs> Gonna be a tough act to follow. <laughs>
I'd look to give it about a two. A little too plain Jane for my taste. There's no flash. No excitement. I mean, it's nothing but a bunch of flakes. Mmm. This has personality. I like it. Makes up for the plain looks. Maybe that's the point. You know, looks can be deceiving. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. You impressed me with corn flakes? Taste them again for the first time. This country harvest tastes so good that Edna quit her job so she could eat it full time. Oh, it's substantial. Emmett, up on Willis Road, kept the whole family fed for over a year on a single roof. Since Luster's been eating it, that attractive plateau widow been seeing a lot of them lately. The only honest thing in this commercial is the bread. Country harvest. At Simpsons in the Bay, you'll find quality brand name merchandise. And Bay Day or Simpsons Days, Canada's greatest sales are no exception. We have over 400 great sale items. And with any purchase at Simpsons or the Bay, you'll receive this free cassette, ideal for Mother's Day, by this talented man, Julio Iglesias. Thank you both. This is a good opportunity for me to say hello to all my friends in Canada and to say also that I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next Canadian tour. Great names at Simpsons and the Bay, I guarantee it. Hey, Reg. Don't you think being in competition for Mama's birthday present is a little immature? Uh-uh. <laughs> this is the first year I'm in position to compete with you, Mitchell, and compete I shall. No competition, Reg. We have the same money and the same job. Ah, uh -uh. my man Maurice has already doubled the money I got here marked for Mama. You bet your mama money with that riffraff? That riffraff happens to be very well connected in the gambling world, and I'm gonna double my money with Maurice again. Reggie, don't bet your money with the bookie. Take what you got and go get mama something nice. Nice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not about nice. This is about I want to crush you. Let's get therapy. Chinese market just got robbed. They got Wong's? That's four doors down. Was anybody hurt? No, nobody was hurt. They just took money. Just money? That's what we work for. I think it's the lowest of the low that somebody can just walk up to decent law-abiding people and scare money out of them. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, now you can go. <laughs> That's eight robberies in this neighborhood. I think it's time you took this seriously. What do you suggest I seriously do? Look, the crooks are going to look in here and see that what's behind the register is a skinny, white-haired old man with glasses. Why don't you just throw him the money? Why don't I just hit him over the head with my colostomy bag? <laughs> Whereas if what's behind that register is me. You? I don't think you look so scary. Well, what do you think I look like? I think you look like the Arrow Shirt Man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I look scary? No, no. Scary is Sheldon with a knife. Here is what I think. Let's leave this one up to the city's designated law enforcement officials. The police? Oh, sure. So far, every business in this neighborhood has been knocked off except us. Let me tell you something about the flatfoots in this city. <laughs> They're not as flat as I thought. <laughs> Coffee. What? How are you holding up, Mr. Singer? I'm fine, officer, but I'm not the one who was just held up. How's Mr. Wong? Cookie. Well, he's all right. He's a tough old bird. You see? Tough. We tough old birds can hold our own just fine. They pulled his underpants over his head and hung him on a hook. <laughs> all right, Mitchell, I'm going to teach you how the cash register works. Y'all better find these guys, because if they show up here and harm one hair on this old man's head, I'm going to see to it that there's not enough left of them to handcuff. <laughs> My protector. We'll get them. I've heard that before. Really? Have you heard we're exploring several promising leads? <laughs> what exactly are you doing? Pretty soon we're going to be scared to come to work. Then where are you going to mooch your free cookie, huh, Chunky? <laughs> now, Claudia is understandably overwrought. But what is a young, attractive woman in a scary city like this supposed to do? I myself carry this big gun. <laughs> New York's finest, and I deeply mean that. Let me ask you this. You married, engaged, or using those handcuffs on somebody special at the moment? 
Nah, you'd be surprised how many men are turned off by a woman who has been trained to dismember them if they so much as think about making a wrong move. Thank you. <laughs> oh, bachelorette number two. <laughs> if I should find myself in your apartment after a romantic dinner, do you have a handgun I should know about? <laughs> if you should find yourself in my apartment having a romantic dinner with me, I hope I do have a handgun. Because <laughs> I would like you to shoot me in the head. See, what interests me is in your professional opinion, why businesses to my left and to my right and across the street are being burglarized and not me. No, why is that? Why schmein? What? Why schmein, Nathan? When there's no answer why, you say why schmein and leave it alone. It's not constructive to ask questions that have no answers. You want to be constructive? Put less salt in the soup. Mitchell, can I talk to you? I have a real problem, a financial problem. It's about the money you bet with your bookie, isn't it? Afraid so. You don't have your $200 anymore, do you? No, I don't. You had to get greedy. And now Mama's gonna get another nice present from me and a box of Q-tips from you. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It was a sense bet. It was the last place team against the first place team. I don't know why I bet on the last place team. I don't know why the last place team beat the first place team by nine runs. And I want all this money. <laughs> now... Better find a gift for Mama that cost four hundred dollars. And I never spent that kind of money before. <laughs> and now you have to shell out your own four hundred dollars just to keep up with me. Tell <laughs> <laughs> your lady luck is on my shoulder, Mitch. And I'm telling you, a fool and his money are soon parted. I agree completely. Good. They're my four hundred dollars, fool. Head to tails. You in? You're not going to learn your lesson, are you? Teach me. $400 in out. I don't have that kind of money on me, and if I did, I wouldn't bet it on a toss of a coin. Come on, we just got paid yesterday. How much money you got in your pocket? I got $130 in my pocket, and that's where it's going to well, stay. Well, I got Lady Luck on my shoulder, and she's telling me to part the fool from his money. So go ahead, put it down, fool, with his money. Go ahead, put it down. Teach me. I'm not going to give this money back after I win it. It's mine. All of it. And don't even ask me for a dollar so you can buy Mama cough drops or a light bulb or whatever you got on your gift list this year. <laughs> Call it. I can't Head. lose. I got $800. I'm going to buy Mama a 27-inch TV. Oprah going to be this big. <laughs> you haven't even looked. I don't have to look. I can't lose. Lady Luck is sitting on my shoulder. You call heads and I know what you're looking at. You're looking at the ego's butt. <laughs> all kinds of guesses, but if we go with statistics, what we got under the ski mask is probably a local boy. No kidding. Somebody from the neighborhood? Yeah, someone familiar with habits of the store owners. One who knows when they're in, they're out, stuff like that. Ciao, baby. Hey, we're out of napkins. I'll get them, Mr. Singer. You gonna be safe up here without me? I think so, dear. <laughs> money, 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 money! <laughs> candy from a baby. Now, why a man with my talent and ingenuity bothers with honest labor is beyond me. Woo! Money, 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 money! Now, the fragrance of flowers in the field is coming to your home. Introducing new Renews It fragrance jars. Ceramic jars filled with scented oil that release fresh potpourri fragrance. New Renews It fragrance jars. Refills also available. It's not really fine if you don't have our shine. Put on, put on, put on the Windex shine. Windex with ammonia D dissolves tough grease and grime for that streak-free Windex shine. Put on, put on, put on the Windex shine. That's me, Tommy Lacerda, before I lost 30 pounds in three months with the Ultra Slim Fast Plan. Now, that was last June, and the big news is 
I haven't gained an ounce back. The plan is easy. I had a delicious shake for breakfast, one for lunch, and then a wholesome dinner. Isn't that great? And I'm never going to look like this again. Hey, if I can do it, maybe you can do it. Ultra Slim Fast. Give us a week, and we'll help take off the weight. Cruising, I feel, is something that a lot of people dream about. Somewhere between a wish and a dream. Somewhere. Somewhere is here on a princess cruise. Somewhere between a wave and the sea. Between a glass and a touch. Somewhere. Somewhere. Only on princess. It's more than a cruise. It's the love boat. Everyone's coming to Beaver Lumber for our great sale prices. You'll get the guaranteed lowest price on all advertised specials featuring this symbol. Check our flyer for these guaranteed lowest prices. Ico shingles come in a wide selection of colors to add distinctive elegance to your home. Protect and beautify your home for a lifetime with virtually maintenance-free S-clad vinyl siding. Fiberglass pink insulation will keep your family comfortable year-round while saving energy costs. Right, Joe? Beaver Lumber. We're cutting the cost of home improvement. say this, but have you noticed that Reggie's had a lot more money than he should have lately? Yeah, I noticed. And it's not bothering you how he's getting it? Yeah, it bothers me, but he's doing it so he can buy a nice present for my mother. You can understand that, can't you? No! Yeah, well, you're probably right. But don't tell Mama, because she won't enjoy the present at all. Hello, Tiffany's! Yeah, you, you, you probably won't remember me. Reggie Patterson, tall, black fellow. You do? Oh, Reggie, son, you get off that phone right now. Excuse me, I'm buying diamonds. That's right, diamonds be nicer to me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Reggie. Excuse me. Excuse me? You think you can just rob innocent people and pull their underwear up over their head and not get caught? Huh? Well, let's see how you like it. Looks like there are thousands of dollars here. And I don't pay you that good. Claudia, I am wounded to my soul. <laughs> I made that money the same way every other red-blooded American makes his money. I covered the spread. You, you won this money? Oh, sure. <laughs> Tell him, Mitch. Yeah, he won it. He won some of it from me. He's a good sport. <laughs> Take up for you. Hey, you're crazy. Reggie's no thief. Now, I have to agree with Mitchell, Claudia, but Reggie, having all that money, I'm sure you can understand her point. Claudia, I am deeply hurt by your accusations, and I will clear this up with one phone call to the one man who can prove my innocence and clear my name. You mean a character reference? A man of unquestionable integrity. <laughs> Maurice St. Jacques was my stage name. I was a professional dance instructor. Until the accident. Automobile? Lombarda. This is your character reference? Come on, Maurice. Tell them how I came by the money. To whom do I have to vouch for your good fortune, 87? And why are you calling him by a number and not by his name? No name. The less we know about each other, the less we can say on the road. All right, let's get started here. You are Reggie's bookie. I am Reggie's florist. <laughs> and as such, you book Reggie's flowers. Hey, low life, just tell us how Reggie came across this kind of money. You know, 87, you could do better for friends. <laughs> hey, Maurice, I hear the flower business hasn't been real good to you this month. Yeah. As a matter of fact, last night at the garden, I had a treat of one bantamweight petunia who took a dive on me. <laughs> I bet against that petunia and one, right, Maurice? That's the flower business, 87. Sometimes you're in bloom, sometimes you get your petals sheared off by a weed whacker. Well, we just stopped by to let you know that another business just got hit. Broad daylight, half an hour ago. What business? Flowers by Maurice. Excuse me. <laughs> Coffee. 
Cookie. People are robbing people in broad daylight now? What is going on out there? Why is this happening? Why my? Why do you always say that? How can you make it through life with that philosophy? I couldn't make it through without it. Well, since we all know I've been right here for the last half hour, that clears my good name. And I sentence you as the instigator to my character assassination to one night of mad, passionate atonement. <laughs> Can I borrow your gun? <laughs> sentence suspended. The score is 2 nothing Cincinnati, and we are one out away from the first perfect game since 1988. You had to make one more bet. I'm an idiot. Couldn't leave well enough alone. I'm a total idiot. Cincinnati has done everything right today. Pitching, hitting, fielding. And you bet against them. I'm in the idiot hall of fame. <laughs> Ten minus five. Five. Very good. A billion minus a jillion. Fourteen. Do you know everything, Mr. Gold? Yes, I do. Here's the first pitch to Jeffries. It swung on and grounded to short, and this should be it. Sorry, Reg. Looks like Lady Luck just dumped you for another guy. Larkin moves to his right. He boots the ball. There goes the perfect game. Come on, Reggie. You're still alive. <laughs> it's an absolute state-of-the-art security system. I look upon having to put that in as a defeat for humanity. I would have protected you, Mr. Singer. Nobody's hanging you on any hook as long as I'm around. I know that, darling. You're the reason they leave us alone. Fifteen plus three. Why do there have to be burglars in the world? Why should Why do you always say that? I don't always say that. I only say it when I don't know the answer to the question. Like, why are there burglars? Why should why is any line that I'm on guaranteed to be the slower line? Why should I? Where'd you learn it? In a place. What's your next homework question? You forgot where do you have numbers on your own? Why smile? Why don't you just torture me, why don't you, huh? Oh, four. Tuffle walks and the winning run is coming up to bat. You still there, aren't you, Lady Luck? I knew he wouldn't desert me. Don't be ridiculous, Reg. He had over $3,000 and you threw it away. Wrong, Mr. Poop. This guy's going to hit a home run and I'm going to win $7,000. This guy's going to strike out and you're going to be broke. $7,000. Do you know what I can get Mama with $7,000? What? Nothing. The heck with Mama, I'm getting me a Lincoln Continental. Here's the first pitch to Nick Reynolds. Nick Reynolds swings and... Holy moly, I've never seen a ball hit so far in my 50 years of covering this sport. That ball is over the upper deck and out of this stadium. South, southwest forever. South, southwest from Shea Stadium. Gee, that's about right over here. Nathan, we got good news. The only news I want to hear from you is that you got the burglars. We got them. You got them? Sam spotted them in an alley. Chased them five blocks, tackled one of them, and threw him on the other guy. You did that, Chunky? He did that. Here's your cookie. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I can die now because I got something to drive me to heaven. <laughs> How are you gonna afford the payments on that car? I don't have a payment on that car. Why not? All cash up front, took the keys, drove it home. How? My man Maurice paid for it. He's so sweet. <laughs> hey, you know, after I won the 7,000 on baseball, I doubled it on Venezuela and kickboxing tournament. No, I don't want to hear anymore. Neither does my man Maurice. He said that he paid the balance of the car if I promise never to place a bet with him again. So that's your car, huh, Reg? I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Reggie spent all his money, what's left for Mama Wells. 
Take a look at these beautiful drinking glasses. <laughs> Who's this on the glass? That's Buzz. Buzz? Yeah, Buzz Aldrin. That's the famous astronaut on the moon drinking glass collection. <laughs> you got me some hamburger joint. Wrong, non-believer. Got him at a gas station. They give you one free with every 10 gallons. They saw me pull up on that boat and said, here. <laughs> You may have a nicer gift for mama, but that doesn't matter. Because you're riding on the bus, and I'm driving my car around and around the block going, I have a cup, cup, you on the bus, you in the bus, Hi, mama. Hello, Mitchell. Mm. Happy birthday. Thank you, son. <laughs> Reggie, punch you that car. <laughs> Piper Pick. <laughs> if chewing gum sticks to your dental work. Peter Piper Pick. <laughs> A pack of if chewing gum sticks to your dental work, try non-stick free dent. Regular or new sugar free. Free dent's the one that tastes great and won't stick. Won't stick. My mom's got a cold. A bad cold. And a sore nose, too. So I'm taking extra good care of her with Kleenex Ultra. They're really soft. They're made with potion. Actually, it's a soothing lotion that makes new Kleenex Ultra tissue so incredibly soft to even the sorest nose. I know a lot about bad cold. <coughs> I had the same one last week. Kleenex Ultra, the softest tissue under your nose. is dangerous, but Shoals Corn Removers are clinically proven effective. Within five applications, the painful corn will be replaced with new, softer skin. We guarantee consumer satisfaction. Shoal Corn... Barry Bostwick is in triple the trouble when his teenage daughter set about stopping his marriage to the wrong woman. Haley Mills also stars as the original Parent Trap Twins as the magical world of Disney presents The Parent Trap 3, tomorrow on most CBC stations. Mexico. In Washington, politicians and lobbyists are heating up the hill. They're fighting the White House over North American free trade. Sunday night on Venture, right after Sunday Report. Ona Fletcher and the 